Dragon, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. The well, hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Defining Championship. Mixed Martial Arts has one show and one show only. That is the UFC. That is the Super Bowl of Mixed Martial Arts. It is fitting that they are here tonight to put this showcase event on here where great heavyweights like Mike Tyson, George Holmes, and all have fought in years past. One of the most talented fighters to ever enter the octagon is BJ Penn, the prodigy, the prodigy, the prodigy, pardon me, him. the prodigy. But tonight, a late change means he faces newcomer Wat Maiman. Yamamoto considers himself a grappler. He trains on his own. He is single. It'll be a very quiet building throughout it. it it's almost like breakfast at Wimbledon. And so basically, Rich Franklin told me that the bedtime story every night to George was, once upon a time, you're going to do X, Y, and Z. And he doesn't know if George definitely got the message or not, but it was his bedtime story pretty much every night for the last six months as he prepared to return to the octagon. Wait a minute, Rich Franklin tucks him in? No, he just tells him a story, then he leaves and lets his girlfriend tuck him in. Nice. Not nice Rich's girlfriend, George's girlfriend. Aaron Simpson is the 30-something Randy Couture of the 40-something crowd. <laughs> what? Efreon Escadero will bring it tonight, and I guess we will find out if comparisons for Felipe Nover to GSP and Anderson Silva are uh, are premature or not. Yeah, we're going to have to find out. It's, I mean, he's going to have to face really tough competition to be uh, mentioned in that that lofty altitude. You know, that's like I'm that's like them saying I'm a Joe Rogan or something like that. All right, we are set to find out at 155 who will become the next Ultimate Fighter. Michael Jordan-esque in his grappling skills is Travis Luter. No. No, it's not. No. He's not that no, good? No, it's not that good. Oh, okay. Kobe Bryant? Uh, no. no, no, it's not Tim that Duncan. good. I don't know any other basketball player. Never have an easy go when you go to the Militich fighting system. Come on, Chris. Work that. Here you go. Good. Pat has guys that pound on him day in and day out. Our referee, the lovely Sean Kella. I don't speak of the Portuguese, so I cannot translate from the corner. Speaking of Portuguese, uh, uh, that's Japanese, bro. Oh, really? Thank you. Highly touted. You almost want to just sit back and watch soak it you and soak it in. Diaz smells the opening. He's got it under now. Oh, he's got it. It is all over. No, sorry. I tripped for there, Joe. I apologize. Yeah, it did look a bit. You see him with the hand. I've never heard you pull that on this side either. That was close. Making the trip from yeah, Davenport, right. and there is twin brother Mark working with equally aged brother Matt. Stern Carwin, all kinds of heavyweights in the house, all kinds of former fighters and actors in Steve Cold Stone. I'll tell you what, Austin, the Rock is the Spider. Anderson Silva, the UFC middleweight champion, will fight at 205 pounds. He's got magnificent Muay Thai in a lot of different versions of mixed martial arts. Two of the best from season seven of The Ultimate Fighter. C.B. Dalloway made a bad decision, and now he gets a second chance to earn a victory tonight against C.B. Dalloway. His precision is uh, really precise. Late kick to the midsection. Tito taking a book out of the Chuck's chapter right there. Catches a quick jab. That was a straight left. Yeah, it was. Pardon me. A right and a left. A right and a left again. Come to your job, and I bet you mess up too. Then we're gonna make fun of you and Twitter it.